What's up guys? So I'm back with another video. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be answering some questions. Last time I posted a Snapchat asking you guys if you guys had any questions. That way you guys can get to know me a little bit better. And now I'm going to be answering some. So let's just get started. So the first question is, do you prefer the Titanic or the Notebook? I prefer... That is fucking hard. Girl, why you gotta put me in this situation? Um, I would say Titanic because that one made me cry more than The Notebook. Who is your celebrity crush? My celebrity crush is Austin Butler. The first time I saw The Carrie Diaries, I just, I fell in love with him. He's just so, 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 so hot. Do you sleep with your closet door closed or open? I sleep with my my closet door closed because I am scared that something is gonna pop out of there. Just like the scary movies. I'm just I'm just so paranoid. What has been your longest relationship? My longest relationship has been four years. I started dating this guy ever since eighth grade all the way to like the middle year. Actually it was more towards the end of um, senior year, we just like, we just broke up because things just weren't working out, so yeah, it was four years. What does your YouTube name stand for? CC stands for Carolina Cardoso. Carolina is actually, um, my middle name and Cardoso is my last name. Azul just got thrown in there just because and, um, Glam, Glam, I just chose Glam because like my first video was like about makeup so I was just like uh, just throwing glam in there I know it's like long but the reason why I did it that way was because obviously there's a whole bunch of like other Jessica Cardoso's on YouTube and I wanted mine to like stand out so yeah but like further in the future I'm probably just gonna change it to my name again how did you learn how to do your makeup I learned how to do my makeup um, just watching YouTube videos and watching other people do their makeup do you regret any of your past relationships I do. I mean, I feel like there's everyone has that one person that they wish they never, ever fucking met. Well, yeah, I do. But at the same time, like, I don't regret it because I feel like every single relationship teaches you a lesson. The last relationship that I was in um, kind of taught me not to just, like, taught me just to, like, um, be cautious of what I do and not to give my all to someone that I know is probably like not the right person for me. What is your dream job? My dream job is to be an interior designer. I was actually going to college and that's what I was studying for but um, this semester I dropped out because I just had a lot of things going on in my life like I was going through a breakup, <laughs> I know, it's so dumb, whatever, but like I was just like all in my feels, I was going through a breakup, there was like some family situations going on, everything was just like, my life was just crumbling down and I just, I, I'm so emotional so sometimes like it just gets to me really hardcore and I just, I fall into like this deep depression so I basically, that's the reason why I just like left school, just for this semester because now... I'm back up and running and I'm gonna be going back to um, school during the summer so I mean fall. What do you do in your free time? I like to hang out with my friends, go exploring, um, just like meeting or seeing new places and stuff just like things like that. Are you single or are you taken? I am happily, happily single. <laughs> Evie Queen or Teresa? I need to explain myself. Okay, so Teresa is flawless as fuck, but Evie Queen is a boss as bitch. So if I were to choose flawless as fuck or boss as bitch, I'd be like boss as bitch. Sorry, Teresa. Hot Cheetos or Takis? Hot Cheetos all the way. Um, I used to like Takis a lot like in middle school, but then I would eat them on a daily basis and I kind of like I kind of just got bored of them How old are you? I am 20 years old and I'll be 21 in June. When do you know your blending is complete? You know your blending is complete when you don't look like a raccoon Okay, 
I'm just kidding. Okay, you know when your blending is complete, when your eyeshadow looks soft, there's no harsh lines, everything just looks like even. It's just it's just perfect. Like you when you don't have any harsh lines or anything, that's when you know that your blending is complete. When your eyeshadow looks bleak. Where were you born? I was born in Escondido, California. You know, the hood. Who is your best friend? Girl, if you're watching this, sit back, relax, and get yourself a box of tissues because I'm about to make you cry. Um, my best friend is Anna. She's been my best friend ever since, well, we became best friends in, um, in high school because we've known each other since eighth grade but we weren't really as close as we were in high school she's always there for me like honestly if i have if i'm going through a bad day or a bad situation she's there to like you know cheer me up get me back on my feet she's like my coach like like if i'm doing something stupid if i'm just being like i don't know if i'm just being stupid or something she just like tells me straight up and that's what i like about her because she's just she's just so real who is the last person you text the last person I texted was my sister. Do you recently have a crush? Um, well, I don't know. I mean, I guess you can say yeah, but at the same time, like, no. Because there's this guy that, like, I think is really cool and stuff, and he's cute and whatever, but... But, like, I don't like him yet. What were you like as a kid? I was nothing. Nothing like like this. I was nothing like this. Um, I was... I was a tomboy when I was a kid. I'd just wear baggy shirts, DCs, baggy pants, you know? Just, like, I was just a tomboy. Um, I, I would play, like, a lot of sports and stuff. I didn't really hang out with a lot of girls. Because every time I try to hang out with girls, I just felt like they pushed me aside. And, um, yeah, I just felt like they pushed me aside. Like, I, I wasn't... I guess you could consider me, like, I was an ugly duckling, and that's why I got pushed aside. So, I would I didn't really have friends, and I remember this one guy, um... Well, he, he used to be, like, my best friend and stuff. He came up to me, and then, like, he saw that I was just, like, you know, lonely, like playing around with like the grass when I was like picking up ladybugs and stuff and he told me to, to come play with them and stuff and ever since then I just became a tomboy and I was a tomboy from elementary school all the way to six like half of sixth grade because in sixth grade I met I met like one of my friends that was like into like you know she was like really girly and into makeup and stuff so yeah and then I kind of like became girly what is the biggest lesson life has taught you the biggest lesson life has taught me is to not give second chances okay you guys better keep that in mind because I think that might help during out your journey in life how tall are you I am five feet not five one not five two not five and a half but five what are your insecurities I honestly have a lot of insecurities um, but my main big insecurity is my ears like I would get bullied a lot when I was a kid about my ears and stuff and I don't know that just made me so insecure what's your favorite ice cream my favorite ice cream is a rocky road what is your idea of a perfect day my idea of a perfect day is probably okay let me explain if it was a whole day this would be my this would be my perfect day so in the morning we'd wake up and go for a hike hell yeah because I need my man to be active as fuck okay so <laughs> we'd go out hiking and then maybe like later on you know go out and walk around the beach and watch the sunset go down and then maybe catch a movie and dinner because it sounds so cliche but that's just how I am. Do you have any pet peeves? Yes. I think I can only think of two right now though. My biggest pet peeve though is like when people chew on their silverware. I fucking hate that. That hurts my teeth so much. Like it just, oh my god, it hurts. Like it just even me thinking about it, like it's just hurting right now. Um, that and then also when people chew on their gum like really loud. I'm just like, bitch. 
You are not a cow. You are not a cow. Please, just, just, just stop. What do you look for in a guy? <sighs> this is gonna sound, I don't know, dumb or whatever. But um, what I mainly look in a guy, like I look for personality, sense of humor. I don't really focus on looks like I don't know I feel like if a guy knows how to treat you like right why does looks like really matter most of the guys that I dated <laughs> what am I saying most of the guys sounds like I've dated like 50 <laughs> um well I've only dated like three guys and then those three like two of them are just not that you know they're not that attractive um, my friends would be like, ew, what are you dating him? My sister, she'd be like, ew, he's fucking ugly. Like, what do you see in him? Well, like, I would just, like, look in personality. Who is your female crush? My female crush is Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose. Ruby. 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 <laughs> Ruby Rose from Orange is the New Black. She is so bomb. She's just so fly. She's so beautiful. She's so, so, so hot. What shoe size are you? I am a six and a half. Well, that was the last question. <sighs> Finally, my hands were kind of getting sweaty already and I'm kind of getting hot. If you guys like this video, then give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and remember to like, um, remember to comment what kind of videos you guys would be interested on watching. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.